I think on one hand it is important that patients are involved in all aspects of decision making. I mean we can't uh, be part of every vote but we can part be part transparently in any committee that is taking decisions on behalf of patients. And secondly I think what is very important is that there is transparency who's taking decisions and to what level patients have been involved in decision making. I think more transparency on the whole process will make our life much easier and will create better decisions on behalf of patients as well. I remember to begin with, I saw that the payers and the regulatory system were barriers. And then the more I got to engage with them, I understood they were part of a very difficult and complex process and one with which I should engage in. And the more I engaged in it, the more I understood why they were there and the challenges that they faced themselves. I think it's a really good time to ask that question because we've just had the National Centre for Pharmacoeconomics partner with us for a, U, and a UPATI event actually in Ireland to train patient representatives in HTAs and it's the first kind of event of this time that, of this kind that targeted the patients directly um, and one of the outcomes from that is it's great to talk to us you know when you're at that point where the HTA is nearly complete um, and a decision has to be made on access by the government to bring patients in that's very positive but the other you know th there's another option and that's where patients come in at the very start with their data a lot of patient organizations have registries they have information on their patient population there are opportunities there um, for patient organizations to really get involved at a different at a really kind of technical level in the HTA process